It always feels right It don't cost nothing A beautiful life Make it mean something We gotta spread the love Spread the love Spread that love I'm starting to believe It's life changing Setting me free Love is waiting We gotta spread the love Spread the love Spread that love Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, my lifestyle beauties. How is everybody doing? I hope y'all are doing well. Today is Thursday. Happy Thursday. I know I'm starting it off in the middle of the week. Well, at the end of the week almost. I just got off work and I am getting ready to go get my nails did because they're looking bad. Yeah. They're looking bad. Y'all, last week. Was it last week? No. <laughs> the week before last was my niece baby shower. Went home for that. Filmed and my footage was all messed up. It all viewed or it uh, somehow I recorded it in slow-mo and everything was trash. So I am going to try to put some clips in here of her baby shower. It was so beautiful. Yeah. Hey guys, a good morning or good afternoon, everybody. I hope everybody is doing wonderful. Hello, my lifestyle beauties. How is everybody doing, y'all? Today is Saturday, and as y'all can see, I'm not in my normal setup. Pretty legs. I'm at my mom's house and getting ready for my niece's baby shower. So that is where, where I'm at, y'all. I'm in Chicago. I'm in the shy, and it's cold here. It is cold. As my daughter say, it's winter cold. <laughs> but we are here. And mm, got hair in my mouth. I'm waiting on my husband to come because I left my makeup in his bag. So he's actually getting ready to pull up. And then I could do my eyebrows and do a little something, something to my face. Not much. Just simple. Keeping it cute and simple, y'all. Cute and simple. And yeah. And that is what I am doing. Don't know which outfit I'm going to wear yet. I have some slacks and I have some jeans. So, yeah, I have this in my jeans. And, so uh oh, Grandmama in there. And then I have these in a top. And that is my mother. So, she's getting ready as well. So, yeah. You find it? What you're looking for? I think. <laughs> I'm looking. I'm trying to find a top of this thing. Y'all, I brought this new Fenty um, ease drop that I might use today. Huh, Tiara? Um, it's Jackie. She got a car. Oh, okay. Open the door for him. No. It's not on. So this is how it looks. It comes like in a roller. This is the application. And then this is the I stick. Do did do a match at Sephora. So here come my husband with my stuff, y'all. Okay, she's a little ready. And she's hot. in here for the night because I mean this evening later on. Uh, you want some of my perfume mom or you got one? Yeah you got one. Is this my camera? Yep. Oh snap. That's it. Uh, hey y'all! <laughs> Didn't know I was being filmed. I'm filming. 
Um, we getting ready to head out. I'll talk to y'all in a minute. You're not gonna need any pampers for the first trimester. I mean, the first what? First trimester. <laughs> you already passed the first trimester. The first couple of months. I don't know, but you got a lot of pampers. Yes. Okay, you may have to take some back and get a bigger stage because that baby gonna grow so quick. Are you picking the gifts for her? To, oh, um, you got some. Yeah. Um, These are together. Yeah, Yes, I'm sorry. was kind of uh, pissed for that but so I'm just starting out new I had so much footage I had a haul for you guys I had new items mm, and it all was no good it was a no show <laughs> so I'm like devil nope and then I came home and got sick well I think I got sick there and I was coming home back home and I noticed that my throat has started being itchy. I was like, oh, Lord. 
Oh, no. But, yeah. So, my throat became itchy. And, y'all know, I tried to film. Oh, my God. I tried to film. But, when I tell y'all, no matter what I did to myself, I was looking raggedy. Have you ever just not felt good? And it was like, you're going to try to push your way through. And when you pushed your way through, it was like, maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have just let it, let it go. Because I, I looked a mess. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, Deborah. So I was like, no. So deleted all of that footage and we're starting new. We're starting brand new. Today is Thursday. Happy Thursday. Like I said, I had my nails blue for my little nephew or my little, uh, I guess I'm his great auntie because it's my niece, right? So that would be, I'm his great auntie. So yeah, so her son, my niece's son, which she hasn't had them yet. She's still, he's still baking. <laughs> but she is due like any day, any soon, really soon. So I went home for that for her baby shower. Had my nails in blue for crew. That's his name, blue for crew. <laughs> crew. So yeah, so now I'm going to go get my nails did and my toes did. My nails have grown out really, really bad. They look bad. I don't even do blue, and I did blue for her because she's having a boy. So, yeah. So now I am getting ready to go to, like I said, get my nails did. Y'all, it has been kind of chilly here. Oh, my God. Yesterday, it was really chilly. Or was that the day before yesterday? Today, I think it was Tuesday. It was really chilly down here. Yesterday, it, was, uh, it wasn't that bad. Today, it has gotten better. I think tomorrow and more of the week is supposed to be like in the 80s. So, yeah. But I'm actually going to put on a t-shirt. I had on a... I just... Y'all was slumming today. So, all I had on today was this blue sweatshirt that I picked up from Target years about a year ago. And these green joggers that I actually picked up from Dillard's last Christmas and I had on my little green socks with yellow M in them. So that was like my outfit, my work outfit of the day, y'all. So now I'm going to change and put on a white t-shirt. And I'm going to wear a black jacket. Uh, because it's hot outside and I like wearing a jacket in the salon. So therefore... I'm going to change my top because I don't want to pass out because I'm pretty sure it's going to be hot in there. So I just put on this little wrinkled white t-shirt. I'm going to have on my top. Oh, maybe you know what? You know what? Nah, I was going to put on a green one. Yeah, I'll just put on that because I'm wearing flip-flops. I'm getting my toes did too. So I don't really like to wear gym shoes when I get my toes did because I don't like to mess up my nail polish. So, yeah, so I am going to change really quick. Voila! <laughs> so, I just have on this wrinkle t shirt that I am not ironing and taking no wrinkles out of it. It just is what it is. So, yep, and I'm going to put on my jacket and put on me some flip flops, and then we are going to head to the nail salon to get our nails did, y'all. Keep your fingers crossed. I may have some good news to share with you guys soon, but I'm not going to share it yet until everything has been confirmed and I may be speaking in advance, but I'm speaking it into existence is what I'm thinking. So, yeah. So, anyway, so I'm going to um, put my jacket on. I have some hauls coming up for you guys. I have one um, with... Sephora with a box of stuff goodies that I picked up this over the week and then I have some stuff that um, I'm doing a collaboration with them they reached out to me and so I went and I got some stuff so I'm going to be doing a haul on that as well so yeah let me get my let me get my I guess I'll just wear these Tory Burke slides <laughs> Girl, you are really matching. Maybe I should find the black ones, huh? I got tan. It really don't matter. It really don't matter. I'll wear these. Y'all, that... I didn't have a cold, and it was so crazy. Whatever I had, it was all in my throat. I took 
three of those tests and it kept coming back negative and i think i don't know what it was i don't know if it was strip throat i went to the doctor to urgent care they gave me some amoxicillin which is right here so i've been taking those um a cap tap cap a cablet a cablet a tablet in the morning and one in the evening and so yeah amoxicillin i've been taking that twice a day um, I didn't take one this morning. Yesterday was my last one of taking it. I was like, I'm feeling better, so maybe I don't need any more. So, do y'all do that? When the doctor prescribed you a medicine, you stop taking it in the midst of you feeling better. You're like, well, I'm feeling better. I really don't need it. So, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because we're supposed to take all of it. <laughs> so that you are 100% good. But, I stopped. I stopped taking it. So, yep. Yeah, I, I did a deep clean of my closet. Although I got my jacket that I wore when I was cold this week right there. And then that's the shirt I just had on that's going to go in the laundry room. But I am going to potty. I know I charged my, because I deleted all the other footage off all of my cards, memory cards, because they were trash, y'all. They were literally trash. They were no good. And so I erased all my memory, all my um, stuff off of those cards. And I'm, like I said, just starting new. Oh, it's from the haul that I have coming up. Um, it is from Timu. I think that's how you pronounce it. But it's right here. So I got a lot of stuff in there. So we'll do that this week. Um, probably tomorrow after I fix myself up a little bit. <laughs> after I fix myself up a little bit. So I'm going to take me some Kleenex. Just in case I need to blow my nose. My mask is in the car. And I am going to potty. It is 419. My appointment is at 5 o'clock. I'm going to potty and I'll pick y'all back up in the car. Okay, y'all. So we are getting ready to go. I know I look so a mess <laughs> I look a mess but I'm still beautiful don't get it twisted and so are you boo and so are you okay so we are off to get our nails did still a little chilly I feel like I could have got away with my sweatshirt and the jacket it is oh, what degree oh no we not why do you want to get in front of me and you already going slow, dude? I hate this. Oh my God. This old gentleman is in front of me and he's going so freaking slow. And then we get on the main road and he's in front of me. Like a really truck. Some people. Um, What was I saying, y'all? I forgot what I was saying trying to calm down my baby hairs my little my little curls on the side but um that's my husband let me see if he wants y'all yes i just want to call and let you know that jen Marker is uh, 15 minutes behind i didn't want she's sitting here waiting if you could find something else to do for those 15 minutes oh okay well i'll take my time getting there <laughs> thank you sweetie we'll see you at 5 15 okay okay sounds good thanks thank you bye-bye uh -huh. So that was my nail people telling me that my nail technician is running late. So she just didn't want me sitting there. So at first I thought she was going to say, she's not here. I was going to be like, what? And just turn back around. Because y'all know when you know, when you find that good nail tech, you don't want nobody else to do your nails. But the good thing is I don't have to rush. I can take my time. So thank you, God. Thank you. Let me turn this AC off because why do I have it on and I'm cold? But yeah, I I have the one nail tech and she's the only one who does my nails. And if she's not there, I'm just not going. I'm just not. So, are y'all like that? Do y'all have a special person you like only dealing with? I'm low-key cold. I'm like low-key could have wore... A, my gym shoes and trying to be prepared and wear my feet out. It's showing it's 80 degrees, but I'm cold. I don't 
don't know where it's 80 degrees at today. But yeah, I'm cold. Oh man, I took my rings off and didn't put them back on. What did I do with them? I need to find them. So, yep, but um, yeah. So yeah, so do y'all have that like that one nail tech that you just like doing, getting your nails done with? I, I do. And like I said, if she's not available, I ain't doing it. I'll be like, I'll be back. I know y'all probably can still tell the little raspiness I have in my voice going on, but I do, I do, I do feel so much better because last week I felt horrible. When I tell y'all I felt horrible, oh my God, I felt like I had something. Um, I don't know if it was strip throat, but it was just like, I was just like in a cloudy state. I couldn't remember stuff. I was just like, just not feeling my best. I wasn't coughing. I didn't have headaches. I didn't have chills or any of that. It was just my throat. And the doctor did a strip test um, at the urgent care and that came back negative. But then he was like, well, the majority of the time always come back negative. He was like, so we're just gonna send it off to get it tested and we will call you with the results. But I ain't heard from them, so. <laughs> and now I feel better, so I'm like, oh well. But he put me on amoxicillin, and like I said, I have been taking that. So I think that that helped cure whatever little bug I was trying to get. But yeah, I was just like, oh my God, I hate, 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 hate. <clears throat> Not feeling good. And I try to take all precautions in making sure that I'm healthy. I wasn't drinking orange juice. I started back drinking high C orange juice. Um, I only don't drink orange juice because of the acid in it. It messes with my acid reflux, so I stay away from that. But I did eat, drink some, and I it was so good, y'all. So I drank my orange juice, and I was putting berries in them, blueberries. I'm not one for berries. I don't like berries. I don't like anything berries, strawberries, blueberries. I just don't eat anything berries. And so, I was like, my son kept telling me, Ma, you need to eat some berries. They're really, really good for you. They, you know, have so many good benefits. And I was like, I just don't like them. And I do like them on my pancakes, but I haven't even had, like, an appetite to eat food like that. So, I didn't, I left my water at home. So, I didn't, um, I wasn't drinking it. So, but... I did I'm looking at the cows over there but I did um, fix me some orange juice and I um, fix me some orange juice and I put my berries my blueberries in the orange juice the blueberries were kind of saturated in the orange juice and so when I bit into them berries to me blueberries I kind of like a bitter taste but y'all with that orange juice it was hidden I was able to eat the orange juice. I mean, clearly my mind is still not right, right? I know. I was able to eat the blueberries and drink the orange juice. What are you doing, Deborah? So, yeah. So, apparently I can't talk right. So, I'm just going to talk to y'all later once I probably get to the nail shop. Hopefully they can take me. She said that they would be able to take me at 5.15. It's only 4.35 now. So, I don't know. I don't want to stop and get anything to eat. I want to eat when I get home. So, and I'm thinking now, should I stop and get me something to eat before I get there? And then when I get out, I won't be hungry. But I like to eat at home. So, I may just wait till afterwards. Pick me up something. Uh, here at home, see what my husband is going to eat. I really got a taste for a salad from Chick-fil-A. So I may do that, though I've already had a salad this week. I don't can't eat a lot of lettuce for some reason. So yeah, so I can't consume a lot of lettuce. I don't know why, but that kind of stuff don't deal with me. Good. I can't tolerate it. It gives me gas. So... Don't know. But I do got a taste for some french fries with a barbecue sauce. If y'all know, y'all know. 
Chick-fil-A french fries with the barbecue sauce. Oh my God, it's so good. With the salad on the side, it's the bomb. It's the perfect little meal. <laughs> it's 10 out of 10. It's the perfect little meal. Y'all, can y'all believe the holidays is like coming? Like next month is Thanksgiving? Like really though? Like, wow. Like these months are really flying by. I cannot believe that it will be almost a year that my dad is gone. It just seemed like, like, you know, just seemed like yesterday. Oh my God. So crazy. So, so, so crazy. I miss my daddy y'all so much. I ain't gonna even talk about him because that'll be another emotional wreck. So. <laughs> We're just gonna move right past that conversation. Oh, I know what I need to do is recharging my phone so that I can watch YouTube in there and maybe vlog a little bit in there. Is it me or do y'all? Darn it. And then they get pissed off. Well, there's nothing that you could do. So the light turned red. We had an arrow. It was green. And then once we got up here, it changed. And the lady behind me is like going off because the arrow changed. People slow down. My God. And it's a car in front of me. So it's like, where we're going? Nowhere. Just stop and be patient. You're going to get to where you're going. You're going to get to where you're going. Somebody did that at home with me in Chicago. Y'all, it it, it worked my nerves. I took my husband over to his mom's house because when we go there, so he stayed with his mom, I stayed with my mom. And it works out that way for us. So, yeah, don't ask. It just works, works out that way. So, anyway, so I took him to his mother's house and I was on my way back home to my mama's house. And on my way back, it was this lady in a white truck and she was like on my bumper y'all on my bumper and she was so pissed I'm not one that pulls right up on a car I leave a gap between me and a car in case I need to get out of there real quick and she was pissed off because and she was like throwing up her hands and stuff she was really pissed off because I wouldn't like move up I'm like where am I going in the car trunk she like swings behind me really fast and then she's like doing all this hand stuff i'm like girl bye bye felicia so i'm like people just have no patience and people just drive so crazy nowadays just like ludicrous how people drive is just like beyond common like i'm the only one need to be on the road because i'm the only one who drive with common sense <laughs> I'm the only one who drives like I'm supposed to drive so everybody else needs to just get off the road just go and just let me go where I need to go okay y'all so I'll talk to y'all later Bye.
house until it's done. Now I am at Culver's getting something to eat. <clears throat> getting me some shrimp. And my husband, he wanted a butter burger. I got my nails did. I got them um, red. I'm getting ready to say white. My toes are actually white. But I think they came out really, really nice. What do y'all think? Y'all like them? I think they came out really cute. Da, 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 da. So, just waiting on my food. I took y'all off the tripod. My battery is getting ready to die, and I swear I had a full battery, but it's getting ready to die. So, nonetheless, though, I got y'all with me, and yeah, so I'm just waiting on my food, and because I am so hungry, child, I have not eaten all day. I ate a bagel for breakfast. That was it. Had some grapes and some berries. But other than that, child, that was it. Tomorrow I don't have anything. I guess I'm gonna be eating. Or maybe you may, I'll make me a breakfast tomorrow. I really don't want no cereal. But the cereal be bomb. The Cheerios. I freeze my milk <laughs> prior to me putting it in the bowl. I just make it really, really cold. I don't freeze it, but I make it really cold. I cannot eat cereal unless the milk is ice cold that's the only way I can eat cereal so yeah so I may make me a bowl of cereal tomorrow or sausage and pancakes we shall see maybe I'll save that for the weekend I like simple things on the week on work days this is tomorrow is Friday I probably have a bowl of cereal and yeah Probably have a bowl of cereal. Y'all, so yesterday, oh my God, <laughs> my husband was so pissed. But yesterday, so over the weekend, we have went to this Hispanic, this Mexican restaurant. So we had some chips, some nachos. I don't eat chips anymore, but they gave us, you know, the chips with the red sauce. So I should have threw it in the garbage, but I put it in the refrigerator. Um, the dip. I put in the refrigerator the chips I kept on the counter because normally my husband he always like like a snack so I'm like okay cool here you have that for a snack so why that waste the red sauce waste all in my refrigerator yesterday well I actually don't know when it was waste in there I didn't even notice it yesterday my husband got up to get something out the refrigerator and it's like the first person to see it is the first person they gotta clean it up right so he was like, oh my God, Deborah, this red sauce didn't waste all in the refrigerator. And when I tell y'all it waste, it waste everywhere. I'm like, how did it get in all these crevices in these places that... Hey, y'all. Happy Saturday. Today is Saturday. I know I dropped off on, I think the last day that I... Oh, y'all, cricket. Let me fix y'all. Let me fix y'all. Y'all too high up. Y'all just y'all just a mess. Y'all just a mess this morning. Okay. Hello and happy Saturday, everybody. How is everybody doing? How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is doing well. Today is Saturday, and yeah, the last day that I spoke to you guys were on Thursday when I went to get my nails did, my battery died. <laughs> I think that was the last day I spoke to y'all when I was on my way to get my nails did. Child, I can't remember. I think it was, though. But, uh, yeah, so happy Saturday. I hope y'all are up doing whatever it is that make you happy. I hope y'all are feeling well, doing well. I am feeling uh, ten times better. Y'all know I was under the weather last week, but this week, she back. She back. She sound like herself. And yeah, I give all my praises to God Almighty. Because let me tell you, let me tell you, if it wasn't for him, sis, I don't know what I would do. Oh my God, he has brought me out of the darkness into the light. He is blessing me. Nonetheless, he's blessing me. Even when I don't see him working on my behalf, he's working on my behalf. So I just give him praise right now. I give him all the glory. I give him all the victory, all the everything that's in me. I just thank you, Lord. 
because if it had not been for you, Lord knows where would I be. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Just wanted to say that. So, yeah. So, I hope y'all are doing the same and just giving God praises and glory. As y'all can see, I am up getting ready. I just have on a, I'll show y'all in a little bit, but I am, I got my nails did and I got them colored red, as y'all can see. Yeah, I never do red. Red, they say, is a power co color. And I'm so pale, so I never really go red. But, yeah. But to this week, we went red, y'all. We changed it up a little bit. And we add some color to our life. So I went red. Oh, this feels so good. Oh, my God. Have y'all ever just took that bath? And you just get out the bath and you oiled up your body really well. As you oiled it, you gave it a nice deep massage. Y'all, I need a massage. My back is killing me. But anyway, that's neither here or there. But <laughs> we're going to push through it because that's what we do over here. So yeah, so have y'all ever just get out the bath and just like oiled your body up and just like did everything and feel so good? That's how I feel right about now. I have uh, taken my bath. Y'all just see me, did my face. And I feel so much better. Because let me tell y'all, when you don't feel good, it is so hard to pretend that you feel good. Because last week I tried. I was not feeling it, but I was like, you know what? Deborah, you're going to push through. You're going to be okay, girl. And I came in here and did my eyebrows. Y'all, I looked a hot mess. I was like, no. I was like, go sit down somewhere, girl. So, sis, that is exactly what I did, Lifestyle Beauty. I went and I sat down somewhere. I was like, nope, today is not the day. So, but anyway, I just washed my hair. So, we're going to do my hair really, really, really quick. And do something a little bit to the face today uh, like I said I am feeling much better so thank God for that and I have washed my hair um mm, I got my paddle brush in the other room darn it and I don't feel like sis don't feel like going to get it sis don't feel like going to get it but I know I'm gonna have to go get it let me put some of this on my face. This is summer, summer, summer Friday. I just put a little bit on my face. Yeah, just feel like I need some today because I don't know why. And it's not even like it is kind of cooling off, but today it's kind of hot here in Florida. But I feel like my face has been so dry. Normally it get dry in the winter time, and I was at home, so I don't know if it's like. The remedy from that, from being at home, I don't know, child, but yeah, I just feel like my face just needed a kiss, a kiss of goodness. So and that's what I just did, gave my face a kiss of goodness. Got my wedding rings falling, child. I put them on my phone. But yeah, so I got my paddle brush in there, but I sure don't feel like going to get it, y'all. Let me see if I got one in here. Let me see if I got one in here. Take it out. Take it out. Everything that I need. Let me see what else. Child, she ain't got no paddle brush in here. No paddle brush in here. I got clips. But no paddle brush in this bad boy. Probably use that other one. Nope. Ouch. So I got my paddle brush if I don't break it. I used it to wash my hair, so I just want to brush the kinks out of it it's still kind of wet the good thing about it it was all water so it'll dry up so now i'm gonna go in with my redken y'all already know Ooh. 
Child, the hair getting caught up under my neck. And normally what I do is part it. And I'll do one side and the other side. Burger can right here. Just pour some in my hand. About a dime size amount. Not a lot. And my hair, I love this stuff. It just soaks it all up. And I just love that for my hair. For protection. Do the other side. Just like the do the other side, just like that side. Y'all, this this stuff really lasts too. I've had this for a minute. I feel like I'm gonna have to get some probably next week. But I think I probably have enough to go next week. But I love this stuff. And she smells good. Now, since I get her all nice and clean and smelling good, I'm going to use a little of my Ve Vegamore. Vegamore? Vegamore? I don't know, child. But I've been using this for about... Um, so I've been using her now for about um, every day. Uh, I want to say about maybe three weeks. And I have been seeing a difference. Um, it feel like I'm getting like new growth over here that's coming in. I'm loving it. And that's what I've been using for my hair. Especially in the top because it was so thin. So now what I'm going to do is blow dry it. I don't know if I told y'all, but last week I filmed. Oh my God. And for some reason, it was not picking up anything. I was just like, it was all in slow mode. So I was pissed. Doing your own hair ain't no joke. It is not a joke. Oh my God. I don't know why it seemed like like in the winter time. Do y'all hear like seem like it changed textures? Like I don't know. So y'all, I brought this little device. It's a tweezer. I picked it up from Sally Mae. Or no, I picked it up from um. Where did I get this? I got this from Sephora, and I'm loving it. <laughs> so you roll it. And it peels, pulls the hair out of your um, face. And you can feel it. <laughs> so it's a high school right behind us. And when I tell y'all they be getting down. Oh my God. They be getting down. The band is awesome. Awesome sauce. And I was hearing it. I was like on a Saturday. I don't know if they got a game tonight or homecoming or what. It's all coming usually this early. Yeah, probably so. So I am getting ready to flat iron my hair. And what I do, y'all already know, I take it in three sections. So that is what I am doing. I got a box full of goodies from Sephora. So we're going to do a quick haul. So I picked up some eyelashes that I needed. So I got the Flirty and I got the Irresistible. Love the Irresistible ones. I was going to try to do them, but not now. So I got those. And then I got some, some lippy. This one is, I love House of Labs. Y'all, if y'all are looking for it, a really, really nice lip stick, I suggest House of Labs. Really, really nice. I love the application, how it applies on. It's so nice. This one is in the Berry Matte. Berry Matte. And... Of the color on this one. Oh, and then I've been using so what I've been using on my lips now is this um Kosas, and this is like a nude shade, it's like no color, but it adds moisture to my lips. And then I put this on, which is my tint color, and this is the um lip glow color wear um cherry oil, and this is by Dior. And I picked that up from Sephora as well, but I've actually went into the store and picked that up. But, um, so the House of Labs, this is this shade. I think that color is so cute. I think it is going to really, really, really look nice on me. I don't want to put it on right now. <laughs> I'm going to save it. I'll probably do something this week. 
and then I picked up I'm, I'm not I'm on the fence about this shade this one is the melon matte um, melon matte um, so melon matte is more of this shade it's really really light and it's like a nude and that's how it look on my skin I don't know it's just a, a different color and then I picked up this um, Mario brush. This is F5. And I heard a lot of good reviews on it, so I picked this one up as well. And this is how this brush looks. I thought it would be nice to like put on my concealer. I don't know. Feels really, really good. So I picked that one up as well. It says it's a brush, a cosmetic brush. It does not say, it doesn't say for what. My husband turned the radio up. Um, so I think I'm going to take back this one. I know I am. This one is in the shade Blush Matte. And yeah, she definitely is not doing it for me. So it's like a no color. I thought it was going to be like a nude. But yeah, she's like a pink. If y'all can see it right here. It's more, it's really, really, really light. Yeah, and I'm not feeling that one. So I think I'm going to take this one back. When I put it on, I was like, oh, I don't know. It's like the same shade as my arm. And then I picked this up. This is a shadow stick from Fenty Beauty. This is in the shade Copper That. And I really, really like that. And I like it more so that it's in a pencil. So I was like, huh, cool. I like that. I like that to color. So let's see. And then I picked up this Lori Mercier. This is a caviar stick eye color as well. And this is in the shade um, Red of Roses. This is how this one shade look. Let me. So if you could see. Mm, can you see that? You can't really see it. It's really not. It's really light. So I got that shade. Really wish y'all could pick it up. Did I just smash her? So I got that. And again, it's this shade over here. But I don't think you can pick it up. I don't think it's picking it up. There you go. You can see a little bit of the shimmer. So I got that. Then I got a concealer by Mario, which I love, love, love this concealer. I actually put some on and I like the way that it blended in with my skin. I'll put on a little bit. This is in the shade, this is in the shade 3E. This is in the shade 340. So, let me see, I, I know I got a beauty blender. Uh, so nice, right? Oh my God. Love, love. I thought I loved Lori Mercier. What? This one is really nice. I feel like it just blends in with your skin. Oh my God. I cannot wait to do my makeup. So nice. What? Oh my God. It's just like a blur. Like it's just, oh my God. It is really nice. I love that for me. I cannot wait to do my makeup. But she ain't finna do it right now. Cause she got things to do. <laughs> she got things to do, places to go, people to meet. So yeah, she's not gonna do makeup today. I'm looking for my micro smooth. That's it, that's all y'all. She ain't giving y'all no more today. So, but I really, really, really love that concealer. I just think it just like, just takes it to another level. Yeah. And I love this. Okay. So let me get my earrings on and my necklace. Okay. I feel a little bit accomplished. Not much, but the better. Better, better than what I was full of. Uh, oh my God, y'all don't know how much I love that concealer. I just think it just did a wonderful job. Okay, so let's go. 
Let's go and see what we get into, y'all. This is going back. Uh, oh, I keep getting these headaches. Come and go. Okay, so here's my outfit, y'all. I just have on a simple sweatshirt that I picked up up off of Amazon that says Chicago and then I am just rocking these black little uh, athletic pants that I picked up from love them they like look cargo style I picked these up from um, Target they have like a drawstring on them really cute and I have to potty hey y'all so outfit of the day is this again this Chicago sweatshirt and I am rocking these black cargo joggers that I picked up from Target. I love them. They have like the little cargo pocket. Now you can see them with a zipper on the side. Um, and my husband is just rocking a Nike. Y'all uh, miss him? Yeah, they love me. <laughs> they love me, Papa. So this is the outfit of the day. And we're out. We're out. Let me get my keys. That's what I'm missing. So I'll meet y'all in the car, y'all. Bye. Hey, guys. So we just got in. We actually went out to dinner. So we went to TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I didn't even buy really anything. I brought me some beauty blenders. And I brought me some, this Depuff eye serum. I said I was gonna try it. And some um, coconut oil for my hair. That was it, because I told y'all my, how my um, hair is so dry. So I'm like, I'll try some of this. Coconut oil is supposed to be really good for you. I should have brought the coconut oil, the like the organic one. But this is supposed to men split ends contain frizz and it's pear bean free so I got that then we went into Target and my husband got these they're fragrance free pillars and he got these for the back which I'm like get something with a fragrance on it he was like I don't want anything with a fragrance it's outdoors he was like nobody would be able to smell it it's still an enclosed area so but he got those so and then I got Y'all, they had their Christmas stuff out. So I had to get my house shoes, which it says, kind of nice, kind of naughty. Love, love, love these. So cute. So I got those. And then they had this green jacket. And I always wanted one of these, y'all. And I love this green. So I was like, okay. So I got it. So I got it in a size medium. They were $25. Really, really, really cute. I like it. We like some black jeans on. Huh? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, you had your keys. Y'all new to my channel. Hello, girl. Hope you will become a part of what I do. Love on me, girl, as I love on you. Subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe um, button, Life Beauty. We would love to have you if you are returning. My beautiful, beautiful, beautiful women, people. No. I would really appreciate it. And thank you so much if you're returning. I think that's what I was saying. Thank you so much if you're returning. Um, I greatly appreciate it. One more thing. I picked up some razors. I needed those. Picked up some toothpaste. And I picked up this candle. This is a jasmine ling ling. Y'all, it smells, oh my God, it smells so good. I couldn't leave it. Oh my God, it smells so good. I'm gonna put it on and that's it. Oh, and I did get that um, as a spray as well, room spray. So I'm gonna spray some, it smells so good. Okay, y'all, I'll talk to y'all in a minute. I'm finna watch my video. <laughs> Hi. Today is Sunday. Hope everybody is doing well. 
I am up getting ready. I need me some Starbucks. I'm just like over these headaches from lack of caffeine. <laughs> so I need me some. Throw that in the garbage. I need me some um some. Put these over here. Your girl need her some uh, caffeine. Just like. I need to take this back. So what are y'all up to on this beautiful Sunday? Hope this is beautiful on your side as well as it is on my side. Is it just me or do y'all like hate working like when you have hair around it's like oh I hate hair around when I am doing anything <laughs> I have no loose hair I need to do something to my face though because it is dry I'm gonna use this depuffer that I picked up yesterday from Valjean Labs um, I picked that up yesterday and it's supposed to help to get rid of the puffiness under the eyes. This is the texture of it. So we're just gonna put, a, put some on the eye. And I have, it's a thick texture. Cool. I have this, um, this by, Claudel, Claudel, that it has the roller pin on it. I haven't used this in a minute, so I'm just going to take it and just use it to apply this. Let me see if it helps. And I'm just massaging it in. It, it, it in. I don't know if it's old because I don't feel anything. Don't say if it expired. <laughs> you know, you don't feel like any tingling sensation or anything. So this might be old. I'm not really sure. Uh, not sure. I'm gonna go in with some of my some of this eye serum that I use every day. I do kind of feel it now. I can put this in a freezer and apply the ball to my face once it freezes, and it feels so good. I haven't did that in a minute. Uh, it helps to depuff it as well. I don't know why it's so black over here. Like that crease, like when you bend your eye. What y'all think? Do y'all think it worked? I think it worked a little bit. Okay. So next I'm going to go in with my toner. Okay, so I think I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna go in with a little toner. And put some on my face. My hands are so dry. Oh, my face feels so much better, y'all. Oh my God. <clears throat> okay, now I'm gonna go in with my Tatcha moisturizer. Loving it. I feel so much better. <laughs> It feels so good on my skin. What is y'all recommend morning routine that you do? I do this every day. I go in with a toner, a moisturizer, a serum for my eyes, eye cream, a serum for my face rather. Every day I do this. As you should, as you should. <clears throat> oh my god I feel so much better and I'm just gonna kiss my face this morning just gonna kiss my face oh, oh. I love a good kiss I love a good kiss y'all I love to kiss somebody that can really kiss <laughs> when you can't kiss it's like don't kiss me I don't like no wet I don't like when you don't know what to do with your tongue 
like, boy, bye. <laughs> bye already. Okay. So now, since I feel much better. Oh my God. Y'all, can you see the glow? Can you see the glow at 55? Yes. Glowing at 55, girlfriend. Don't look bad. <clears throat> I feel like something in my throat. <clears throat> Next, let me do these eyebrows. I just put the powder on because I have a lot of the oil. I don't want it, want it not to be just like going everywhere. So... That's why I did that. That's why I did that. So while I'm doing this. <clears throat> so y'all, have you ever had that friend that a true honest friend that tells you what you need to know than telling you what you want to know? Like, just say for instance, I was listening to a podcast yesterday and... It was this girl getting married and she had a, her fiance, so she was getting married and um, she was cheating on her fiance. And so her best friend knew about it and she was just like, you know, she was just like, she felt conflicted that she should say something to the fiance with her having knowledge of this information. So how do y'all feel about that? you think that we should be honest with our friends or do we just, you know, go along to get along? Tell them not the truth, but what they want to hear. If you had a friend that was doing wrong, would you tell her, girl, that's wrong and I don't, I'm not going to, you know, stand by that. I'm going to tell so-and-so. Or would you be the one, girl, you better be careful, um, you know, like, what are you doing? Or would you be that friend that just, you know, it is what it is. Being a girlfriend is so tough, isn't it? Especially when you're privy to different information. It's like, just say for instance, if y'all had three friends and one of the friends felt the type of way about the other friend, would you tell that other friend that, hey, so-and-so feel a certain type of way about you? Or do you think that that person will already know that that person is feeling, you know, a certain type of way about you? So tricky, isn't it? It's so like, oh my God, what, what line to cross and what should I or should I say? I don't get it. I don't get it. But some things ain't for me to get all the time. But if I had that friend, that girlfriend that I felt like was just like disrespectful to her boyfriend or was cheating on her husband or whatever, I would not tell because I don't think that's my story to tell him. So me personally, I'm just going to stay out of it. And I will tell her, you know, you need to be careful. You need, you know... Reach, why are you with him? Why are you doing him like that? You know, if you don't want him, then, you know, let him go and move on. But you shouldn't be, you know, out there doing what you're doing with that when it comes to cheating on him. I think I would tell her that, but I wouldn't go and tell the man. It was so crazy because, like, and even, like, with a sister or brother like, if you saw and you know that you, you know, you know, oh, man, you know about family. So it's like if you saw your sister's husband or brother's wife out there messing around, like, would you say something? Or would you just like, I messed this one up. I'm going to have to fix it. Or would you just be like, walk up to them and be like, I see you. And you should say something. You shouldn't you shouldn't do that to my brother or my sister. You know. Or would you just like that's on now? <laughs> that's on now. Like what would y'all do? Like if y'all saw that. Are you the type of friend that would just like be like, you know, so what would you do? Are you like that ride or die chick? Like, I'm with you, I'm riding with you, you know. Whatever you do is what we do. Or would you be like honest with that friend? Would you be like, you know, girl, you need to check yourself. You need to really. Or I know she was saying, you know, 
she gave her opinion, the lady at the podcast, she was like, I would seriously, when the, when the pastor say, is there anybody in this room who think that these people should not be together? Speak now. She said she would be one of them people that will speak now. But I don't know if I would want to put them on blast street like that. I wouldn't wait till they get to that point. If anything, I would say something beforehand. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, wait till they get to the altar and they'd be like, I'm going to say something. No, you didn't say nothing all this time, sis. Honestly, like, why are you going to wait to get to the altar to say something? Speak, speak before that, you know, don't wait till you get to the altar to say something. When you got friends on both sides, families on both sides, like, I wouldn't do that. But everybody is different. Everybody is different. But if a friend came to you and she was like, girl, what you doing? Girl, nothing. I'm like, um, finna go meet so-and-so. And you like, hold up. You finna go do what? I'm finna go meet so-and-so. We gonna go out and, and have coffee or something. Like, an ex is an ex for a reason. Or not even that. Just like, if you're married and you're like cheating with somebody else, it's like, girl. So like, if your friend came to you and she was like, you know, hey, I'm getting ready to go meet so-and-so. And you're like, girl, you're married. Like, you getting ready to do what? With who? And why? That would be a moment that would be had. I would be like, girl, you going to mess up what you got at home. Is it really worth it? You know, I would talk to them. But to me, when a person got in their mind of what they going to do, they going to do it. It's already made up. If they self-conscious didn't beat their butt, sis, keeping it real. If they self-conscious didn't whoop their butt, uh... Probably pretty much nothing that you could say is going to beat they butt as well. I don't know, but that's just how I see things. I feel like if they was going to have a change of heart, they would have had a change of heart before it got to that point, right? So pretty much anything that you say ain't going to help. Have y'all ever cheated on a boyfriend? Not a husband. I don't, I don't want to get in y'all business like that. But have y'all ever cheated on a boyfriend like when you were dating somebody? And you were, you know, kicking it with them and everything. Did y'all ever, like, you know, did you ever cheat on him? <clears throat> did y'all did y'all ever cheat on him? I'm trying to debate if I want to do some makeup. I kind of should because I have a video that I need to do. I kind of should. I kind of should. So, maybe I'll do some lashes. Maybe I'll do some lashes today. Okay, so maybe I'll do a little some some, a little some some, not much much, but a little some some, because I do need to do a video later on today. So, um, but yeah, so I guess I'm gonna go in with my Lori Mercier. I'm go in with my Mario. I love this stuff. So, have y'all ever cheated on a boyfriend? For real, for real, though. Like, looking back, I can't remember, like, cheating on a boyfriend. I know I had a, my ex-boyfriend used to think that I used to cheat on him. I'm like, if I, I had a night job where I was working at this factory and he swear up and down I was cheating on him. I'm like, boy, bye. Nobody's cheating on you. But yeah, he thought, he thought I was. I'm like, no, nobody wants to cheat on you, boo. If I don't want to be with you, I'm just not going to be with you. This, I swear to God, got to be the best concealer I have ever used. And I thought that about Lori Mercier, but this Mario, what? Oh my God, I am loving it. It really gives you the effect of like, of, um... It really gives you the effect of almost like, uh, what is that called? Uh, oh my God, I can't think of it. But 
I, oh my God. I really, 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 really love that. It is so, it almost gives you the illusion of like a, um, um, man, what is that called? When you have the illusion of, um, that something is not, um, oh my God, I don't even know. But this, Lori, I mean, Mario, what? Y'all, sis. Go out and get you the Mario Concealer. Mine is in the shade 3.5 Anne. Oh my God. You're going to thank me later. You're going to thank me later. That concealer is the bomb. It truly is. For my Lori Mercier, I'm going to go in with a brush today. But I'm really thinking about going in with a beauty blender. Maybe I'll do that. This is coming out better than what I thought. I'm going to have to go in and touch up some of my... As y'all may notice, I don't put on like a lot of foundation. This Mario, what? Is a really... <gasps> there, my battery died. I had to go in and redo it. So I still got some foundation on my hand, if y'all can see that. <clears throat> I'm just going to wipe that off. Because I don't go in with a lot. I'm going to go in <clears throat> with a little bit of the Mario. Um, that's not it. With my Mario bronzer I'm looking for. I have my Mario bronzer right here. I'm going to go in with my Mario brush. The finder. Here we go. Okay. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty and I'm just gonna put some on my nose. And I have my brush. This is just really to contour my nose to give me a more of an illusion of a little or skinnier nose and the only thing that's highlighted is the nose bone you see that so this kind of like drowns out the round part of it next i'm gonna go in with my <clears throat> neutrogena eyeliner for over the eye next i'm gonna go in with just a little blush and this is in the MAC and this is the format powder um, I'm just gonna go in with a little of that I'm gonna go in with just a little of my um Now, if he can hear me, but I can't, I mean, if I can hear him, but he can't hear me, Chucky! I'm going to go in with a little of my, give me a minute, y'all. Okay. So now I am going to put on, let me do my eyes. I have these new sticks that I want to try. This one is the long wear eyeshadow stick, and this one is in the shade. <laughs> no, this one is in the shade Sparkle 01. I don't think I want Sparkle. I don't think I want Sparkle today. So this is what Sparkle look is like, real light. But let me um, curl my eyelashes, and then I'm gonna try to put these lashes on, girl. So, oh, y'all, I forgot to address the issue of my hair. <laughs> so I get so hot at night that when I go to bed at night, I sweat so bad. And so I was trying to find a little simple solution that I can do to try to help that. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to... Um, 
put rollers in my hair. And then my hair too does not hold a curl to save its life. So I was like, yeah, we're gonna try that. So that is why I have my hair in rollers. No other reason. And it's still gonna be in a ponytail. I'm gonna take the rollers out. It probably didn't even do anything because like I said, my hair just do not hold curls. When I have it wrapped up at night, it's just, it's so much hair wrapped up and my head just sweats. It's like, let's put some rollers in it to kind of like separate it. So that's why I have my rollers in it, girlfriend. But let's see what we got. What is this? What is that? I told you, I don't know why my hair wouldn't have whole curls. It's so soft. And the curl just immediately falls. But I think it would be cute up in a curly ponytail. Even taking it down, I'm getting hot. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to really consider cutting it. Because yeah, the way these high flashes be hitting me, look at that. It don't it doesn't even curl up. They just straight fall. The world is in the that I was looking for earlier was what? airbrushed oh, when I was talking to y'all about Mario concealer it looked like it's airbrushed like it's just really 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 good so I could not think of that word to save my life but we're headed up to Vieira I could really just give me a coffee that's fine if you want to get that I, don't, I can do that want to see what they sell right quick 
the restaurant? We saw with this. What do they sell? Do they have like chicken and waffles and stuff like that? Why well, get that? This it's not what you order anyway, baby. You well, I would get waffles your, and like you a, say you a, just a, a do your coffee. Get your coffee. <laughs> well, I mean, depending if they got that. Can you check, please? What was the name of it? Put over there. Put rest, new restaurant in Vieira. Okay. okay. Let's see what comes up. Don't you get it on your your phone? Did you take a picture of it last time? Mm -hmm. I didn't take no picture of it. I went looking up the website of it, but I uh, not on my phone. A new restaurant from where we used to live is called Urban Prime, and they do brunch. So he's checking out to see if they do like chicken and waffles, like what's on their brunch menu. I tried to do reservations, but you can only do reservations for a table of five or more, or for a serving of It's cool. Hey guys, we're out to brunch. We're at the Hotel the Melby. Landing. It's called The Landing. The Landing Rooftop. So we're up here to eat breakfast. Um, actually brunch. I'll take y'all outside in a minute, but it's a beautiful scenery. We actually came here when we were moving here. We're thinking about it. And this was one of the first places we ate at. So yeah. So I have me and Mr. C. We got the southern fried chicken and waffles. I'm all sold already. That sounds real good. But I can't do that chicken because my hot flashes is already through the roof. Let's see what else I can do. So beautiful up here, y'all. Here we're gonna have this whole pairing to the whatever you oh, like. People do. You gonna get you a mimosa? You want a mimosa? <laughs> Good, how are you? Good. Yes. Yeah. Can you get something else from Santa Water? Uh, no, that's okay for right now. Yeah. I'll check on you. Okay, thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. I gotta see what they got, bro. Peaches and cream pancakes. Vanilla French toast sticks. Two eggs your way. Crispy salt potatoes. A little bacon. I'm gonna do the waffles, but I'm gonna see if I can. Huh? I told you it's hot out there. But it feel like you came up. When I went out there, you could feel that heat. Even when I was outside by the house. I don't know why. I do the uh, waffles, that's cool. I'm just, I don't want the chicken, I just do the. Uh... Huh? They get pancakes, peaches and cream pancakes. I'm sure you can just get them just regular pancakes. Wait on my side, or is that? Oh, that's the thing, something. Mm. Well, you should come up here for dinner. Hey, y'all. Can we get this? Did you want it now? That's fine. Do you have a cran apple? Cranberry. Cranberry? Okay. Can I have two of those? Yeah. yeah. Thank okay. you. Where's your restroom? Um, Okay, great. Thank you. Yep, I got a pee -pee. I know. That's why I'm, I'm pausing. <laughs> but I don't want to pause too long because I ain't going to be able to uh, hold it. I need to take off. Uh, yeah, I was just saying, why you got Take off this one. Or should I just leave this one? That looks nice. Like that? Or should I take this one off and put on these? So. Not the first one. The yellow one would be alright. I don't see you get this one. I just had that. That's good. Either that or the brown one. I like this one. Yep. Alright, y'all. I'm going to go to the washroom. I'm going to leave y'all with Mr. Crowder. Hello, everybody. We're trying to be out and enjoy a nice day with the wifey. Yeah.
right now in sunny Florida. It is a beautiful day. We are at the, the landing with the, uh, I don't know. She went to the washroom. I have to ask her. She came back. Okay. If you wanted to bring the menu back to what it said, you have chicken sausage. What else? Um, sausage too. Out of what? And she only got two, she don't have to, nothing to choose from but what, chicken, right? She got the, she got the waffles and the uh, scrambled eggs. Mm, I would probably have to make, wait for her to come back. Uh, I don't know if she's a big, I don't think she's gonna like the chicken sausage. Yeah, I'll check back in with you Okay, they have no bacon. Huh? No bacon. Oh, no. Oh, no. No bacon. No uh, sausage patties, I'm gonna get his chicken sausage. <laughs> you gonna try the chicken sausage? Might as well try the chicken. Right. Mm. Would be that they don't have chicken sausage, I mean bacon. Have a word bacon. What the heck? We waited too late. <laughs> What's the brunch? Uh, somebody got. She said I got the last order. Oh wow! But I'm like, how do you run out of stuff that you serve? Them? Right, exactly. For brunch, how do y'all do that? I'm confused. <laughs> like, you running out like it's a brunch place. Oh, we don't run have the batter to make the waffles. Like what? I know, right? One thing they don't run out of is drinks, y'all. Yeah, they run out of everything else, but they ain't running out of drinks. I'll come back because I only got 48 minutes, so I'll come back and show y'all the scenery. Against yourself the, uh, that they're not being cheap to get more money from you. Hey, that's we have a debate. So you know when they started chicken and waffles, they started like with the wings and waffles, right? Then it went from chicken wings to chicken breasts. Some establishments do, do chicken thighs. So here they do chicken thighs. Mm -hmm. So his thing is that they stated that they do the thighs because they're cheaper. I'm, I said that. I'm he said that they do it. thighs because, because they're cheaper. Yeah. I'm saying chicken breasts are just as cheaper than a chicken thigh because you just got a chicken got strip. Bacon on there they got bacon on side. That's probably what's the last one. But you got chicken strips, right? So my thing is, which one is cheaper, chicken strips or chicken thighs? I said they got chicken thighs because chicken thighs are a lot more flavorful. Those are, the, the, I think those pieces are like the most flavorful pieces mm -hmm. of a chicken. No, it's not. The breast is not flavorful. Yes, you is. make it flavorful by the season that you add on it. The chicken breast, white meat, is don't have any flavor to it. It's by, it's by how you season it that the brings the flavor into the it. Season it, uh, cook it down without any seasoning. It tastes hard, just like any other disease. You when I made season. the chicken thighs, you told me the chicken thighs taste good. What did you put on it? I put the same seasoning, but exactly. you said that it had more flavor no. in it. I think it's the chicken thighs are, are to me, I think are, when I was eating it, they're one so of the most- a person that don't eat chicken. <laughs> they're one of the most flavorful piece. The bathroom, and then right they're here. very Where's tender. If you go down this hall, and they're very tender, but Mr. Crowder don't think so. Nope. He think that that chicken breast is the bomb. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's the bomb, diggity, y'all. I don't know. What y'all think? Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Tell me which way to go Cause you fooled when I bend Now I'm almost 
lost at my end I don't know what to do To see your point of view You don't have to pretend I can always try again I just wanna learn all of you Wish you could give me a handbook Teach me all the ways to make you feel understood Make a list of all the do's and don'ts All the things you love and hate the most That ain't how love really grows I'm sorry Honey, I'm just as confused Trust me, it isn't just you Don't focus on the things we don't know But rather that we are and growing alone Alone No, I don't come with a handbook To teach you all the ways to make me feel understood can make a list of all the do's and don'ts All the things I love and hate the most Cause that ain't how love really grows Grows Some expensive leather Wasting energy on someone who don't know love They just want you cause you got the, got the big bucks You can buy designer things They want what you got, not the care you bring Material comes and goes What about your own wrongs? Finding things never fill the void It's just problems people love with your joy Don't get me wrong, nice things ain't bad video so now I can show you guys what I picked up in the car so uh, 
yeah, I'll pick that up in a little bit. But I can show y'all what I picked up in my haul. I have a pizza on. You got three minutes, so this is going to be really quick before I close out this video. So again, if you are new to my channel, hello girl, hey, welcome and thank you so much for stopping by. I hope today will be a part of what you, I hope today will be a, I hope today will be the day that you will subscribe to my channel. So simple girl, by hitting that subscribe button right down below, you have just become a part of what we do. Love on us as we love on you, Lifestyle Beauty. And yeah, we're going to get into this all. Girl, if you're returning, you already know. Thank you so much for coming back. I so greatly appreciate it. So guys, we went to H&M. Thumbnail. So my husband picked up so much stuff. OMG. They had these really nice cargo pants. I And they look so nice on him. Babe, can you put on one pair just so they can see? They have this elastic at the bottom, which I don't like, but they looked really, really nice on him. So I did get a pair as well. These are the man's, and I did get a man. Um, I got it in a size medium, but he got all of his in a size XL. And when I tell y'all, it has a drawstring. It has two pockets in the front. It has a pocket on the side. Um, and the material of them are, it has two pockets on each side. The material of them is really, really, really light. They're not heavy. They are really some nice little cargo pants. So he picked them up in a gray color. He picked them up in a brown color. He picked them up in a black color. He picked them up in a green color. Y'all, yeah, he's going to be cargoed out. And then he picked up a black t-shirt. They prices were really, really, really on point, y'all. So the price of this t-shirt was what, $12.99? Yep, $12.99. Long sleeve, round neck t-shirt. He got them in an XL from H&M. Then he picked up this brown or burgundy. I thought you didn't get the burgundy sweatshirt. Hmm? I thought you didn't get the burgundy sweatshirt. I got it. Yeah? I sure did. Let's see which whatever one looked like. Then I take whatever else. Take it back. He got the burgundy sweatshirt um, in the XL. And this was $14.99. He was on the fence because he didn't think that they went with gray. And I'm like, babe, burgundy and gray go together. What do y'all think? I think that is a nice color. I think they look nice together with some black gym shoes. What? I think that's cute. So that is what he got the first bag. And then he picked up this gray pair, or I picked up a gray pair. Or this is like the dark gray. So he got a dark, turn off Alexa. Sorry if y'all have an Alexa, because I know she's probably like, what did you say? Turn off Alexa. So I picked up these dark gray ones and he picked up. Thank you. Y'all, Alexa really been tripping this weekend. So he picked up a gray color and I picked up a gray color. Which ones you want me to put on? You can put on the gray ones. And I thought I got them in a medium. Um, you can put them on with the light top. We well, don't put the burden on. No, because we're gonna be dressed a lot. Okay. That's for that one. The other gray was light. I want to mess my white shirt up. And I picked up this sweatshirt shirt that says Harvard. I thought that was so cute. Although I didn't come from Harvard, but who knew? Who knew? <laughs> You know. <laughs> so anyway, I picked this up and I thought this was so cute. I love the gray and the red writing in it. That's why I got it. Love, love, love that. Oh, it's like a burgundy in it. It's so cute. And then it has the two pockets in it. And I picked up, for me, a white t-shirt. This is out of the men's section. This is in a size small. So I picked this one up and then I have the cargo pants. And he's putting it on. So when we go somewhere, we can dress alike. And I thought that would be so cute. I know. And then he picked up, actually his birthday is the 24th. So I brought him some of this stuff, but I brought him these jeans as well. 
they fit so good on him y'all these are blue jeans and they fit really really nice they just a plain leg nothing fancy fancy they're tapered regular fit and they fit really 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 nice on him so i picked him up these for his birthday as well and he's going to try that on oh let me show y'all what else we got so y'all know christmas is coming around really 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 fast so or before i show y'all that i did pick up this shirt as well from h m i have been looking for one of these shirts i thought this was so cute i can like put it on with like a white top and then you know kind of like tie it around i thought that was so cute i love to do that with sweaters okay y'all so there he is with the cargo pants aren't they so cute come around here so they can see you better okay so as y'all see that is the fit of them they have the two pockets on the side okay okay willie with the cream shirt love that y'all detail cargo pocket there now you can see it cargo pocket it has a pocket in there really really nice and deep so he could put his wallet or phone in there don't have to worry about it being sliding out comes with two pockets in the back love that and then it comes with another cargo pant pocket over here and another pocket comes with a drawstring it's just really nice and then we got that light top to go with it yeah it's white white top and then we can wear our gym shoes with it so i thought that was really cute cool. thank you so yeah so got that then i picked up for christmas our christmas pjs will be this i thought this was so cute picked it up from jc Penney's. It says so many things. Merry vibes only. Fa la 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 la. Oh, joy to the world. I just love this. It has, oh my God, it has like every ornament that you could think of. Christmas tree, candy cane, um, hot chocolate, Christmas hat. It has everything. Reefs and mine's come with a matching bottom. And I picked my husband up one. And his just has the blue shirt with the matching bottoms. So, love that. And then he picked up a jacket by Alfani from JCPenney's. These were 60% off. They were regular price. $50. They came up to $24. They have a zipper in the front. So, he can wear these with those cargo pants with like a t-shirt up under it. And be really really nice and we were looking for him like a vest um, that he could put on like if we go somewhere travel somewhere where it's a little bit colder um, he will be set girl so he got him in a blue and in a beige to go with his cargo pants and he have a burgundy one and then he picked up a tie he has to pick up a tie wherever he go it's like when we go out we have to buy some underwear he buy ties <laughs> so yes so that is everything that we got, girl. I hope y'all have enjoyed this little quick haul. I'm going to dive into my dinner. I have a pizza that I put in the oven. I'm going to eat that. And, and that is it. So again, if y'all are new to my channel, hello, girl. Welcome. And I hope you will become a part of what we do. This was like kind of a weekend vlog. I'm going to end it here. And I will talk to y'all in my next video. I have some doctor appointments tomorrow, some tests I have to do. So, yeah. But anyway, I got to do that. So I don't know if I will vlog tomorrow. I probably will edit and get these videos up. I'm going to try my best. But if I don't, I'm going to only have two videos up this week, which I think two is good still. But, yeah. So I will talk to y'all in my next video. Until then, love, peace, and happiness. Hugs and kisses to everybody. Bye! Bye, Lifestyle Beauty. Talk to y'all in my next one. Bye.